Let's go ahead and set up a channel on this trigger to activate that sequencer. So first, go ahead and open up the trigger, and we're not going to have it play any sound. We don't need that one. Uh, we're going to have it go ahead and trigger on channel 351. And then the other thing that we need to do is come up to this second little icon right here and make sure that we scroll down just a little bit until we find triggered by sequencers and make sure that this is actually toggled on. It should be by default. Then make sure that you press OK. Next, let's go ahead and set up this sequence so that we'll actually trigger. And what we need to do is go into the channels area right here. And we're going to say start on 351 so that it matches the other one. So we'll go ahead and say OK. So now when we test this in game, we'll be able to see that that trigger will actually activate the sequence.